Yo, yo, YouTube land, what's the deal? <laughs> All right, this is Six Sense, aka The Foo. <laughs> and here with another Logic Pro X tutorial. Okay, right here I have the arpeggiator open of the MIDI effects, right? So just, you know, uh, right here, boom, arpeggiator, right? And I have an e-piano loaded on that channel strip, right? So uh, over here, that's a piano, boom, and you'll hear it in just a second. So I have play button on, because without that on, it won't arpeggiate. Then latch mode on, and over here, mode, I'm gonna set to add, okay? Now what add mode does is I press one note, press another note, press another note, another one. So, it basically adds all the notes that you press in a sequence down here. And then it plays that sequence live in arpeggiation, okay? Now, I was fumbling around here and found the option I'm about to show you over here in this area, okay? Right here, silent capture, okay? Because I actually like using an external MIDI controller so I don't have to really refer back to the computer too much. I could do everything right there from my knobs and faders and you know buttons on my Axiom or other controller, okay? That's why I have like these little menus here. I have all kinds of different crazy options available to me. So I found this in here and I was like, wait a minute. All right, so I did a little mini learn and flipped a fader, boom. So I got the fader uh, learned right there, silent capture there, okay? And then I learned that if you drop down this little arrow, it's also right there. Go figure, all right. So anyway, what it does is basically what I just did, okay, with adding the notes, except you can play it as if you're just normally playing the keyboard. It's not gonna capture how you play the notes, it's just going to capture the notes in the sequence, the order that you actually play them in, okay? It's gonna lay them out down here, okay? And then, when you turn the silent capture off, then it'll actually play that sequence in arpeggiation. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Put silent capture on, okay? And in my case, I could just flip fader, boom, all right? Now, I'll just uh, go ahead and press a couple notes, all right? Okay, so, you know, completely random notes. I'm gonna flip the fader back down. And that's it, guys. That's all it is. So, silent capture, instead of listening to the arpeggiation go as you press the notes, it allows you to capture the notes before listening to our arpeggiation, okay? So, pretty useful feature. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was actually a hidden feature, which it kind of is. If you don't drop down these arrows on your plugins, um, always, always just drop that little arrow and see what's uh, under the hood because there's always some kind of like cool goodie in there that you might want to mess with, all right? So uh, that's the Logic Pro tutorial for today. I mean, the third one for today, but uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. God bless and happy producing, guys.